Hello friends, to, welcome to the prelims focus news discussion. Uh, it is 3rd September 2017 and Sunday today, but still few news were very important. Uh, so that's I thought of, you know, discussing it today itself. Uh, let's not keep it for tomorrow and few uh, news were you know pending from the uh, yesterday so I thought of including that also so let's see the very first question uh, deals with the Swachhata app guys see basically under the Swachh Bharat mission there's a Swachh Sarvekshan rank which has been given by Ministry of Urban Development all right so this Swachh Sarvekshan rank is been done on the basis of one survey under which different criterias are taken and those criterias are mentioned here guys first criteria is about municipal doc documentation how the, the documents of activities being done by uh, to promote this swachh bharat abhiyan and the second one is uh, independent observation which is being done by the officials of ministry of urban development themselves and the third one is citizens feedback right so these three criteria are taken to you know award this rank but it in news it was there because Madurai's rank which came 57 these two parameters first two parameters of Madurai's rank are totally good right but the third parameters it lacks very much so that's why the focus of the article was onto this app that the citizens don't have the you know uh, information where there exists some app or not right so it, it there is a need to you know increase uh, awareness among the citizens regarding this application so that they can participate in it right Next is about guys, North Korea uh, had said that, you know, hydrogen bomb missile warhead has been made and it is capable of hitting the mainland US, United States, because you know that, you know, since last few days, there is a uh, tussle being going on between North Korea and I mean, tensions been going on between North Korea and United States. So Donald Trump has also given them the warning and uh, North Korean uh, administrator that is Kim Jong-un has also given US its warning, but uh, it is being seen that north korea is you know day by day when every world is you know telling that north korea should not test his nuclear missiles but north korea is not listening to the world and they are just uh, you know telling that we'll do whatever you can do you can do it and recently also we have observed that uh, uh, you know north korea has fired a missile over the japan hokkaido island right so that's why it was in news so see many different points are also being given in this article but i don't think that all the points should be discussed because all all the points are not of that much important now the important thing what uh, exists in this article is that it is further heightening ha heightening the tensions between this uh, North Korea and US regarding the weapons ambitions of North Korea right so see we j what we need to know is what is the art what is the news is being going on right because there's some sort of news which come pops up every day so this is kind of that news which of pops up every day like yesterday also day after yesterday the day before yesterday you know before that also many a times i have already discussed so i thought of not discussing it to the whole extent again right so the major thing i have already discussed here right next is about uh, iit guwahati team uh, researchers had mimicked a nature the nature to keep the surface oil free in the, under this uh, they had you know mm, you know they had uh, researched two kind of coating one is oil repulsive coating and the second one is oil loving for coating oil repulsive coating is known as oilophobic and uh, oil loving coating is called oilophilic right now uh, regarding this oilophobic uh, coating guys when applied to, when it is applied to any material the coating keeps the surface free of oil contamination right if the oil you you are throwing that oil into that surface and if that surface is having coating then the oil will not stuck to that surface all right and it is in the case of water also under water also this same thing would happen and thus in second nature oil loving that is oilophilic uh, you know coating when it is applied to anybody it will help in removing oil from oil contaminated surface in this egg one example has also been taken that if in one gram of cotton ball you are applying that this coating then what it can observe is it can absorb in it thousand grams of oil means see the extent matlab in future if some sort of oil spills happens in any you know river or ocean then in future we can you know apply this coating to the uh, cotton and you know suck that those oil which which has been observed uh, i mean absorbed or spilled in that region right so it is indeed a very important invention uh, for the perspective of indian discovery and indian uh, you know 
futuristic uh, scientists and all so yeah this was about this news next is about hotinet guys uh, it is being dev uh, developed by ministry of commerce and industry and what is this it is an application which will you know allow the farmers to register themselves right and register not only register themselves but it also he will help them to get approval by the state government or the sampling labs all right so that's why this was a news and it was mainly you know um, I mean this app was mainly brought up by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry the reason being uh, to promote our export to the European Union because it was seen up till now that the export uh, of our vegetable and fruit products through the European Union was struck in the middle way because they there were as the allegations from the European Union that you know the product of Indians uh, whichever they are importing is not to the quality that's why this has been developed by uh, APEDA and it is an integrated traceability system also is uh, you know a, a is uh, in this application right and uh, it is used for providing inter ba internet based electronic services to the stakeholders for facilitating farm registration and all and different see other criterias of this hotinet are also written this are directly taken from you know uh, this PIB news so what you can do is you can if some sort of questions like this comes along uh, then you can directly copy paste this to your answers and trust me you'll get you'll be getting full of number in it right and a uh, few of the more specifications under it were written like it will assist the state hotel culture or agriculture department to capture the real-time data of the farmers farm locations products and details of infections like date of inspection name of inspecting directly from the field so this was a bit of you know factual thing which if i'll discuss and if you will read yourself then you know the impact will be same so it's better you can read it yourself next is india's first world heritage city guys this is very 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 much important this is 99.9 percent .9 important for next year's prelim trust me so the world city of Ahmedabad is being which is which was been founded by Sultan Ahmed Shah in late 15th century has been declared as India's first world heritage city now see the India's first world heritage city stack has been given to the world city of Ahmedabad it is not the whole city of Ahmedabad all right so this is the uh, you know focus which I want uh, you to you know focus upon and this wall city of Hyderabad is I'm sorry Ahmedabad is 5.5 kilometer wall city which is having a population of around 4 lakh inside it all right and uh, so that's why I mean this was given and it is situated in eastern bank of Savarmati river which was made during Sultanate period and one thing one very much important thing is it has numerous of mosque and tomb and uh, within the campus of this five 5 kilometer walled city and as well as it is having Hindu and Jain temples also now you will confuse here that you know since it is given Sultanate pair so they will have they will be having mosques and tombs only so they were having Hindus and Jain temples also so this is kind of trivia which they might you know ask directly to the two uh, like sentence type of questions they are giving now that uh, one two both none type of uh, I mean uh, prelims uh, tri trivia question they can frame out out of this right so this was about this next is Rohingya children to get UNHCR card in Bengal see West Bengal since though it is a political news but still uh, we will just extract the news which is important for us now West Bengal government will distribute identity card issued by UNHCR to Rohingya's children lodged in juvenile justice homes to of the states see it is a good news also bad news also good news base because you know it is kind of uh, humanitarian activity which is done by our country and in this novel work you know they will uh, i mean under this unhcr card there will be biometric data of the city uh, i mean of the people who will be enrolled under this uh, you know uh, this card and uh, the biometric data will be regarding the retina fingers face scan and etc etc this that was about good thing now the bad thing is uh, is that uh, since we will incorporate more and more of rohingyas then you know it might uh, lead to the resource problem resource deficit problem for our people when we at the time when we are not able to give the uh, fulfill the resources of our citizens then how we can you know fulfill the resources of their citizen right and second thing is like uh, see the border of border region of uh, bangladesh and india is very much porous all right so what bangladesh people can what bangladesh government or the bangladesh people can do is like they can you know force this rohingya muslim to you know uh, come to the indian side and if 
you know this because they will be in you know uh, they will be in hope that they will be getting you an SCR card so that's why they will be sending to the Indian side means it will further reach to resource um, resource deficit in Bengal region it might lead to right so that's why this was a news and you just have to remember this fact associated with this and news next is about India European FTA talks this month see guys this uh, organization remember European Free Trade Association now this association is about I mean this is a composition of four countries that is Iceland Norway Liechtenstein and Switzerland right now this or first let's read about this organization later we'll talk about this news what is this news it is an intergovernmental organization which was being established in 1916 by the EFTA convention uh, among these four countries and it is for the promotion of free trade and economic integration between the member state that is these four countries you just can remember and see the location now let's see you can find because it is a very very small countries uh, situated between you know France Germany uh, Belgium and uh, yeah between these three countries only so yeah and uh, yeah one more fact guys about this EFT association is that this organization operates in parallel with the European Union and all the four member states participate in European single market but the major fact is EFTA does not envisage political integration to European Union though they participate in the European single market but they don't envisage political integration so this is the fact which we have to remember now let's jump to the main news India and EFTA has, are planning to shortly conclude their long pending negotiations on FTA see our FTA's negotiation is already pending with the European Union but since it is not being you know covered up to the full extent uh, with European Union so we are planning to sign this you know uh, agreement with EFT organization now what will happen is like uh, since our uh, you know bilateral trade between this EFTA has been reduced uh, uh, from the 2015-2016 figure to 2016-2017 figure that is in 2015-2016 it was 21.5 billion trade was happening between us but in 2016-2017 the uh, you know trade uh, de reduced to 19 billion only that's why it has been said like it has been envisaged by the you know uh, political players and the futuristic you know intellectuals that if you will sign this agreement with uh, this, this EFT organization then the ma market access to each other's countries with a view to promote bilateral trade in goods and services and beside investment also I mean goods and services will be promoted but investment will also be promoted between India and EFTA that is European Free Trade Association and we have already discussed about this uh, association right so yeah this was about it guys uh, so this was for the news of today we'll re will be connecting tomorrow again with some new facts some new news uh, till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to me guys thank you very much